welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we will be solving yet another problem of beam analysis using 1D type of analysis. We are solving simply supported beam which is subjected to UVL that is uniformly varying load. We have already solved this numerical using 3D type of analysis. The dimensions will be a little different but the procedure is what I am explaining using this example. Let's go for static structural and double click on it. I'll rename it as simply supported beam with UVL. Next I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry. I'll go to XY, look at, I'm using units as meter, I'll go to sketching, line, I'll draw a line, I'll give it a dimension, say it is 5 meter, next I'll go to concept, lines from sketches, I'll select the sketch, you can also select the sketch from your sketch 1, apply and generate. Now I can see here there is a line body which is formed but I need to give it a cross section. So I will go to concept, cross section, say I will choose I section. So these are the dimensions given, I will leave it as it is. I will go to line body, cross section and choose the I section. Now I also want to see the cross section so I will go to view cross section solids. So here my cross section is ready. I can see an I cross section. This is my geometry. I'll go to model and double click on it. When I select the geometry, it is a line body and when I will click on mesh, after generating the mesh, Say change the sizing to file, update. So this is my I section. Now I am solving for simply supported beam. So I will go to analysis settings. I also need to see the vertices. So select point on this vertex. I will insert fix support. On the other vertex also I am going to insert fix support. On this surface that is edge I am going to choose. I will be applying UVL uniformly varying load. So I will go for line pressure. I will change vector to component. In the Z direction I will apply the pressure as say minus 15. Now I will go to solution solve. Now I'll choose deformation directional. I want to see the deformation in Z direction. This is the direction in which I have applied the pressure. I also want to see the force reaction at both the fixed ends. And I would want to see the beam tool result. I'll go to solution. Evaluate all results. So this is the directional deformation. I can see the animated view. This is the force reaction that I can see. 
at one end and this is the force reaction at the other end the values are here force reaction 2 and I want it in the z direction so this is my value and for force reaction 1 I want to see the value in the z direction that is here so these are the values of force reaction and in beam tool results I can see the minimum combined stress on the beam and this is the maximum combined stress on the beam you can animate and see the results so this is how we can analyze the simply supported beam with the eye cross section which is subjected to uniformly varying load I hope you have understood the procedure if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section see you in the next session with another analysis thank you mm -hmm.